Want to learn how to stack classes on the Peloton app without the bike or tread? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. But if you were trying to learn how to stack classes on the Peloton bike or tread, go ahead and check out this video right over here. So the reason why you'd want to stack your Peloton classes is if you're someone who wants to take multiple classes back to back. Prior to this feature, what would happen is you take a class, finish, then spend an unprecedented amount of time searching through the class library to find another one. While this could count as your rest period in between classes, it still gets in the way of your momentum because who knows how long it'll take you to find that perfect follow-up class. But now, with Peloton's Stack Classes feature, you can prepare your classes ahead of time. Essentially what you're doing is building a playlist of classes so you know what workouts to expect in a given Peloton session. You could start with a full body stretch, take a strength class, and finish off with some yoga. So now let me show you how you can build your stack on the Peloton app. The thing is, you can't actually build a stack on the app itself, whether it's on a smartphone, tablet, or streaming device. You can only create stacks on the Peloton bikes, treadmills, and on the Peloton website. It's kind of weird you can't do it anywhere else because it seems like a simple software update, but hopefully Peloton makes that feature more widely available soon. Until then, what you're gonna need to do is go to the Peloton website at www.members.onepeloton.com and log into your account. Once you do that, go ahead and browse the classes until you find one that you'd like to add to your stack. Let's start with a stretching class. So let's take this 10 minute full body stretch with Selena. Just click on the class, then there's this button underneath the banner that says stack. Click on that. On the bottom right, there's now the stack classes icon with a red badge on top of it with the number one. If you click that, you see that the full body stretch class was added to your stack. Let's add a few more. Click X at the top right to exit. Now let's go ahead and find a strength class. How about this 30 minute Wicked themed full body strength class with Maddie? Click on that and same thing. Hit that stack button. And then let's finish off with a yoga class. Let's add this 10 minute flow with Dennis. Add that to our stack. Now let's see our stack again. We see that it totals all the time up, so we know this entire sequence of classes will take 50 minutes. So that's helpful to know. If you wanted to, you could also modify the stack by clicking here where it says modify stack. This will allow you to switch up the order by dragging these classes by using these lines or clicking the send to the front button. If you want to remove a class from your stack, click on this red minus button and then remove. And just so you know, you can only have one stack at a time. So it's not like you can create a stack for Monday, Tuesday, and the rest of the week. Although that'd be super helpful. You're pretty much queuing up a single session's workout. Also, you can only stack up to 10 classes at once. So now that we've created our stack on the web, let's see what this looks like on the app itself. And we'll be using an iPhone here. So once you enter the Peloton app on your phone, at the top, you'll see a banner that says up next in your stack. And that's where your stack classes will be. So go ahead and tap that. The first thing you'll see is the class up next in your stack. It's weird that you're not able to actually view all the classes in your stack on the app. You're told that if you wanna view or modify the classes, you're gonna to need to check out the website. Again, I hope Peloton makes it more convenient for app users in the future. Anyways, when you're ready to start working out, go ahead and hit start. Once you complete a class, it's removed from your stack and you'll be prompted to take the next one in the queue by tapping the next in your stack button again. After you finish that final class in your stack, you'll be taken back to the classes screen and you'll notice that there is no longer a banner that says up next in your stack. So if you'd like to create another one, you'll need to go back to the Peloton site and restart the process again. So that's how you stack classes for use on the Peloton app. I hope that answered most of the questions you had. Let me know in the comments if you have any more. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Peloton and fitness app content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.